I just want to remind you about this important conversion that I referred to at the beginning of last day's lecture. How to convert something from exponential form to logarithmic form. Okay, and I've tried to color code it so that you can see where everything is supposed to go. So the base of the exponents becomes the base of the logarithm. The exponents of this power becomes what the logarithm is equal to. And what the power was originally equal to becomes the argument inside the logarithm. This part here is called the argument. Okay, so that's going to be useful, especially for the next few examples that we're going to look at, being able to convert between those two forms. So let's take a crack at this. I'm going to take log x base 5 and convert that, sorry, log x base 5 equal to negative 3, and I'm going to convert that into um, exponential form using this guide up here. So the 5 becomes the base of my exponents. The exponent would be negative 3, and x would be on the other side. So this becomes quite simple. It's just 5 to the negative 3. That is the value of x. So x is 1 over 125. Right? 5 to the 3 is 125. And if I make it negative 3, that reciprocates it and writes it underneath the fraction. Sorry, underneath the denominator. In the denominator. There we go. Ugh. Log 36 base x equals 2. Again, I'm going to convert this into exponential form. So I have x to the power of 2 equals 36. Now, what number squared equals 36? Well, if you're not sure, you should know. But if you're not sure, you can square root. This gives me x on the left. And not only 6, but plus or minus 6. Remember, um, negative 6 is also a valid root of 36. However, one comment here I want to make is that you cannot have negative bases for logarithms. So the actual answer here is just 6. The negative base is invalid. Okay, So we just have 6 for our answer. This guy here we're going to convert into logarithmic form. Sorry, it's already in logarithmic. We're going to convert it into exponential form. So we have 64 to a very funny exponent, 2 thirds. That equals x. I'm going to convert that into radical form. So let's see. The power is on top. The root is on the bottom. So that is the cube root of 64 squared equals x. And 64 squared is 4096. And we're cube rooting that. And I just want to see really quick if 4096 is a perfect cube. Yes, it is. It is 16. So x equals 16. Good. <clears throat> Maybe now would be a good time for you to pause the video and give those other three a try on your own. All right, let's see how you did. So we go turn this into exponential form. 4 to the power of negative 2 equals x. Writing that with a positive exponent, that's 1 over 4 to the 2, which is 1 over 16. Hopefully you got that one. That should have been the easiest one. Next we have log x base 16 equals negative 1 quarter. So we're going to write that in exponential form. So 16 to the negative 1 quarter equals x. This is going to be a little tricky. Uh, the negative exponent brings it down in, to the denominator. So that's 1 over 16 to the 1 quarter equals x. And then I'm going to take 16 to the 1 quarter and convert it to radical form. Just going to move that other problem for f down and running out of space. 
So power on top, root on the bottom. So this would be the fourth root of 16, which I believe is 2. Let me just double check here. Yes, it is. So this is 1 over 2, and that equals x. Last one down here, log 9 base x equals 2 thirds. So we're converting this to exponential form, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 equals 9. There's a couple ways you could solve this. Um, one thing you could do is to get rid of the cube root, you know this is being cube rooted, you could cube both sides. Right, so I raise both sides to the power of 3. That will take care of that cube. Technically, just these 3's cancel, giving me x squared equals 9 to the power of 3 is 729. And then I can square root and get x equals only the positive root again, 27. Another way, and maybe a faster way of doing this, is going um, the two-thirds root <laughs> of 9, which sounds really strange, but it does work. Okay, To do a two-thirds root in your calculator, which I don't even know if it makes any sense really technically, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but it does work. Um, you would go bracket 2 over 3 in your calculator, and then press math 5 9 and then enter okay so put two thirds in brackets math 5 9 and then enter and you should still get what we got here 27 okay so x is still going to be 27 so it just does the same thing that we did but in a faster way this is probably a little more formal though it makes a little more mathematical sense but Hopefully you get the idea now how to convert between logarithmic and exponential form and how to use those in solving um, different expressions and equations.